The woman that received the gospel gets saved. The woman, the man that rejects the gospel gets condemned. So the gospel, once believed, brings you out of condemnation, brings you into life, and brings you out of darkness. And the same way it happens to the hearers and the believers in the gospel is the same way it happens in the life of the believer that carries the gospel. In the world where we don't preach the gospel, that world remains in darkness. In the world where we don't preach the gospel, that world will remain in death. In the world where we don't preach the gospel, that world will remain in poverty. That world will remain sick. That world will be under the control of the evil one. So the introduction of the gospel is the introduction of the light that removes darkness of death, that removes the darkness of poverty, that removes the darkness of satanic harassment. In the, the introduction of the gospel is the introduction of light. So that is why we, the carriers of the gospel, are the bearers of light and the bearers and the carriers of hope. A man or woman without the gospel is hopeless. Till the entrance of the gospel. The greatest revelation you should have as a church member is a revelation that we are the custodians of the gospel. Yeah. The greatest revelation you should have as a Christian, is that you are the custodian of the gospel. Angels are not allowed to preach the gospel. Do you know the mystery? Even Jesus doesn't preach the gospel. God the Father doesn't preach the gospel. The only ones allowed, designated by God, conscripted by God and Christ, to preach the gospel, I believe us. It is the greatest privilege that has been given to us to be the carriers and the preachers of the gospel. For in the gospel is the power, the life of God. Ah, yeah. Your judgment before Jesus when you meet him face to face will be what you did